Hello, uh, travelers. Hello, <laughs> 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 hey, No, it's my brain. I am Stuart. I'm Jared. And it's Biggie. And that's a ghost. Run away! No, you coo! Oh. Get out of it, you bitch! Ah, oh, that's right. Run. You saw who I was. <laughs> you know who I am. I have obliterated and exercised many of your kind. Go! 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 Although I must admit I was... Hey! Hey! Just, just keep swimming. Ah! But running's faster. Just keep running. But sprinting's faster. Fuck! Who, <laughs> Selena? What? <laughs> Who am I? Who is she? There's no even really a, a story as to why you like this Selena character. So oh, don't tell me it's going to turn out that you're the murderer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That he's hallucinating. She's not a ghost. I could also be talking right out of my hiney hole. Because literally, you crash a car, break a rib, go in, see her, fall in love instantly, and try and fucking bring her back to life. Basically. Yep. So many of them! Come on. Behind one of the pillows. I hit so well I couldn't even see myself. <laughs> right in there! <laughs> You're an absolute coo! <laughs> Who put you there? Satan's bunghole, that's what you're saying. I need to run, but at the same time, my can, my, my candle, my, my match. And he keeps running like a fucking Colin McRae rally car. <laughs> left, right, left, right, weave, weave. No, oh, he's acting like it's a crocodile. <laughs> Zigzag. <laughs> gotta run away. Zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> when? Balls! They follow you. That's not good. So I'm guessing this. So how are you? <laughs> I, I am guessing this. <laughs> Yay! Holy mother of good! And that's where she died. Right underneath some sort of Roman calendar clock face. Oh, great dingleberries. It was like, I'll well, give a damn about love. It'll keep me safe for now. And there's a alchemical th Symbol to Loha mm -hmm. and <laughs> the scent of blood in the air. It was hers. Anger was growing in me. Thinking about William stabbing her with a blade. But it wasn't over yet. Oh no. I was going to save her. It didn't matter where the wolf would hide. I would skin it. Got another damn dagger. You got that kind of dagger, you're ready for a fight. Mm -hmm. Fucking rig it. How many daggers can you carry at one time? Because it says you've got dagger one. We don't really know. It doesn't specify. Yeah, we inserted the key, but now what? This. <laughs> right, there'll be a clue. Half moon. Crescent moon. I think you're like changing the. It's like a calendar. Yeah. So it's like showing like the lunar cycle and everything like that. Right, oh, 
Oh fuck. Hey, back to the vid and Indiana Jones trap. Yeah. I am walking about pressing this shit, not knowing what's about to happen. Faster. Did you run out of time or did you hit our wrong number? Not sure. Maybe there's some sort of coding on the actual. Pick my flippy. Fortunately, we can't see past all the blood what we're supposed to mark it all up as. No, I mean that. Maybe the one symbol, you need to do it in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 order. So I know I got this right because it's not letting me change it again. Maybe you just need to follow that order. What order? So one is the triangle with the line behind it. Yeah. Two is the... Stop sign, we'll say. These are the crescent moon. So do they actually go in order? That's just me guessing. That's the door. Ha! Diddly diddly do. Ha! Diddly diddly die. There's the ank. Hmm. Uh. Give me a moment and I'll find the code to We don't have to keep looking back at it. Yeah. Normally I'm all for puzzle games, by the way. Travels. Please know this. I'm quite good with puzzles. It's just a case of, this is like one of those, ah, this camera does not help you, but yeah. don't worry, you fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to drop all pretense. Fuck you. Yeah, puzzle games are good, but some of them are just extremely difficult to do, or at least are just designed more for a different type of problem solver. After all, look at like some of the Telltale puzzles mm -hmm. when we've been doing it in our downtime. Some of them you've managed to figure out quickest. Some of them I've figured out quickest. The ones that are about perception. Are you are you hands down? Yeah, the ones that are about like thinking, I guess. Like <laughs> problem solving. That's all you motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> have the two items. What do I do? I'm sitting there mashing them together. <laughs> Tie it round it. Throw it up. Climb. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're supposed to tie a knot. <laughs> then it's like, oh my god, there's so many buttons in this door. What? what? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Is that it? Yep. Okay. And then it's the circle with the split down the center. Oh, the split down the center. Oh, I'm matches. I'm go up to you. I'll be living in that crescent moon forever. <laughs> Ank. Yep. Booby. Oh no. Yes! <coughs> Good intake. Thank you! Fuck. The face of Cat. <laughs> <laughs> it is scarily calm, travellers. It is scarily calm. <laughs> I'm calm! <laughs> right, where's Completely. this? Where's this fucking shack? Huh? And I need to press them all. I believe. I think it's only the the first, like five or six, because that's what the crazy moon's highlighting. Well, he's just wasted three matches or two. No, nope. this fucking second. Oh, it's just a rattle. There. Next. Number three is the crescent moon. Oh, but, oh, I, oh. That's right behind number one. Number one? Make it so. <laughs> Get the reference. Win a prize. <laughs> is there less oxygen in this place, sir? These matches are going to at the rate of notes. Uh -huh. Number four is the... Would you say that's the upside down anchor, I think? It's an ank. Oh, because the ank's there. Oh, shit. Um. We'll just look for one that has a circular bit that we can't see. A rattle. Um, no, I think that's there. Yeah, that's a rattle there. Okay. That'll be it. Because I didn't have the line through it. Okay. Uh, where are we? Number five is just a regular triangle. It's like over to the left. I think it's like around number seven. Aye, aye, aye. There it is. Well done, lads. Woo! Yay! Now let's get the fuck out of here. I need to. We need to find Selena. I need to find matches. Fuck Selena. <laughs> New scent started filling the air again. Sea spray. Moist soil. Plants. Soon after I could hear rain and thunder. She had guided me on the way out. She had saved my life. But as all prisoners know so well, you're not free just because you can see the sky. This was just another setting for the same tragedy. So the entire game has been nothing but doom and gloom. At the end of the Black Path. Travelers, this is the last chapter, so we're just going to keep going with this. William Vesper's me. I'm the ghost. Push your back. Most likely. Yeah. Maybe this is your penance. I like the fact that you've still got the axe though. I'm gonna need it for something. <laughs> Chapter 6 Dawn will not come. Shadow. Dawn will come. Inquisition. Right. I don't need the match now, do we? Fuck it out. The area's pretty well lit. <clears throat> Control the thunder and lightning. You're gonna head for my car. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus. 
she was inviting me to follow her. Come, come see, she was telling me. It was her best part. A victim who plays her role to cheat death. But she wasn't deceiving anyone. And me? Heading for the car. Yeah, fuck it. Out it. Screw this place! Fuck this mystery! Oh, what the fuck? Sure. As a conscientious diva, Selena walked to her grand finale. My fear was washed away by disgust. I was about to meet William. Mm hmm. Kill the only beautiful thing in the world. The only one which could save me. I'm sorry. It was me all along, Selena. The son of a bitch. The sicko. The killer. The wolf. The filth. The bastard. The scum. Oh, you should have let your mother kill you. You should have undone what she did. You knew, and yet you let me have a second chance, Selena. Let me go on till the end. The memories of what I had done were coming back slowly. Like the tide washing ashore the rotten corpses from a wreck. Selena was lighter than a pillow. The real weight was all those years of filth stored in my memory. Images. The blade I sunk deep into the stomach of my own mother. Those dark-haired women. Those hated clones of Margaret, split from head to toe as a sacrifice to the moon. Their organs displayed carefully, like some child fresco. Selena on the stage of smoke and mirrors. The glass I used to toast with her. The first time we talked. Um, is this a moral choice thing, or is this just what scenic crap do you want? How her husband had been murdered. She's left or right. In our kiss. The blade I used to stab her. My father and the father of my mother died from the same madness. The same poison that men injected into the economic system they had created. On October 29th, 1929, 
millions of casualties, the scent of blood, and for the wolves, the beginning of the hunt. Selena's warmth was pulsing slowly in my arms as the dark spot of my culpability was growing over her stomach. In the sky, the moon was watching me, her son, as I was taking my first steps, holding her daughter in my arms. A resurrection. A second chance. Selena was dying. I could tell from her body, tightly pressed against me. At times her eyes would open and stare at me, not a hint of anger or accusation. She could have let go, let her light pass, let my mother take me back. But she was protecting me. Was forgiving me. The moon was silently watching us as we made our last push through the night. Soon, dawn would come. The sun would wash away all that ink which had condemned us. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye, Mother. This night had been too long already. as far as I could. Selena, the one who would give me everything life had left her, was fading away, despite my efforts to hold on to her light. If night was the world, then this world had no end. This was my America. Stranded here, facing the void under the cold glare of the silent moon. She was dying. She was dying for all eternity. And I kept awake to see her take her leave. Well, by the middle of chapter four, it was kind of obvious anyway that this guy was, you know, not all there. Yeah. All in all, I would, the visuals for the game were brilliant. Yeah, they were beautiful. I love noir. I love the, the setting of like 20s through to 40s. Maybe like 20s through to 50s. Yeah. Your private investigators, your gumshoes, your Dick Tracy. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. I always enjoyed that. I've always been a lover of like detectives. Sherlock Poirot. I don't even know this guy's name. William, oh, well, what he called himself. Um, but he was William Vesper all along. Yeah. Ha. That's it. It's sort of an interesting tw twist that the, the creator sort of eased you into. It was. Visually and audio, I would give the game probably both a solid kind of seven or eight. Yeah. The game on a whole, the camera in particular, four yeah. out of ten. It felt like playing like, like, if you had been here to watch all of it, yeah. it's basically like playing the old Resident Evil wow. on the rails. Like, the, um, 
the controls themselves were all right. They were responsive enough. However, the camera fucked up the response because you could be running. Say, for example, the camera panned behind you so you could see a ghost chasing you. Yeah. And if you're running towards the camera and then the camera changes to show you the side, like if there's a twist in the corridor, he will go the exact way that you're pushing that analog stick to go forward. So he'll like either stop or run into a wall mm. or run into a table and get stuck. And then the ghost will maul you to death or whatever yeah. it does. And because the, the saving was bad yeah like the saving was a bit like alien isolation we'd said in a, an earlier episode where you have to really work towards getting yeah to the save points which is fine if you like a challenge which i do in some cases but all in all it didn't in my opinion it did not work well yeah with the fact that the difficulty spiked so suddenly <laughs> when it was uh, when you were running, when it was a tense action sequence. Yeah. For example, uh, the episode just before you came into it, there was like, what, seven ghosts in the same room? Yeah. Jesus. The lights had all went out, and your candles don't do anything, and you've got to find your way and weave around them, which is really hard when the camera is continuously working against you, but thinks it's working with you. It's like something that's trying to help is really making it worse. Yeah. yeah. See, I'd agree with you with like, your scores for like the artwork and gameplay and everything like that. Like four out of ten for the for the actual puzzle, like the overall camera. Yeah, camera and everything like that. Seven or eight uh, for the next. So I'm just gonna round it up and bring it to a five and a half out of ten. Um, well, I'm gonna skip the half there and I'll say that's a solid, solid. Yeah, solid five out of ten for the game on a whole. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying it for the price it's at, we'll go for it. Yeah. If you like that kind of game, it's not expensive. You yeah, can get it's an indie on there. game. It's not. Yeah, it's beautiful to look at, and I think it's worth playing through once. It's a challenge. If you want something that's going to give you a massive challenge. Yeah. But don't want to spend a lot of money in the game shops trying. I don't think it will give them a massive challenge. Yeah. I think just. It's, it's not Dark Souls. It's, yeah, it's, it's just exactly. That, it's just that spike. The spike of the camera makes it a bit frustrating. Yeah. The game itself. For people who like that kind of game, like Resident Evil and uh, Silent Hill, or I don't know, your, I don't know what other games, but basically ones where you have to go back and forth and collect stuff. Yeah. People will like this, I think, and they should give it a fair try. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, of course. I just wouldn't say it's one I'll play again. Yeah. Um. But I have not. I don't have hatred towards it. I just think the camera. If it had been one of those games where there was a bit more save points, maybe a bit of combat, yeah. like for example a lantern, yeah, because it was the 1920s, you could at least get a torch. Yeah, yeah. What I said earlier was that if they could have at least brought in a dodging system, mm -hmm. it would have made things a little bit. Even if it wasn't like combat dodging, mm -hmm. if it was just like if the the thing saw you, came towards you, you put out your match and dodged to the side. So is that you're out of his line of range, mm -hmm. then that would have been good. I would have found. It would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would have made it easier for you to hide. Well, mm, that's the end of that then. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty predictable by the end of it because while she was running away, basically when she hit that roaming clock, I was yeah. like, she's not running away from. A like the, a, a situation yeah. of the ghosts who's running away from us yeah. by as I said like middle of chapter 4 it was pretty obvious that we were giving chase and she just didn't know it yeah. she's not a ghost we were just in a complete haze yeah. of, I don't know whatever it might have been his, his mental illness or it might have been his the drink or a, a mixture of both yeah. it also needs to be said that Shaggy came in and hugged into Jared so he didn't get too scared <laughs> sure <laughs> So, so if you've heard the occasional sneeze, with, besides the big one earlier, that will have been from Shaggy. Yeah, I'm just going to speed this up now. Um, thank you, I guess. Not I guess, actually. Thank you to the people that made this. Because, yeah. you know, it was a good Sunday afternoon spent. Yeah. It's just, it was frustrating and there was more than one occasion that we did have to look up help. Yeah. Uh, but... 
you did a damn good job for what you was doing, and I thoroughly enjoyed it for what it was. I enjoyed watching it. And the same here, even though I only appeared for like the end of it, basically. Yeah. Uh, still, but thank you very much, travellers, if you've stuck with us throughout this whole uh, game session. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to call it that playthrough yeah. game session, and we'll see you for the next adventure. So. Stuart out, I guess. Farewell, guys. Bye, everyone. Meow.